Hey everyone, this is Violet from High Cards. I hope you're having a good day. In today's video, we'll be doing Generation 5 on my Pokemon Shiny tier list. So, we've already covered the first four generations, and let's just continue on to Gen 5. Now, as you may know, Gen 5 is my favourite generation in this entire series, so... This should be a bit more positive. Let's continue. Victini has a phenomenal shiny in my opinion. You can go top A actually. I love its simple changes but very nice changes. And on the side I'm actually playing a new playthrough of uh, Scarlet which will be the basis for my Pokemon Scarlet playthrough on this channel so hopefully you enjoy it. A Snivy line. Nice there, I like its changes. Savine. Yes, you can go up there. With Superior, you can go in the S. I love Superior Shiny. The blue and green just works so well together, I love it. The Tepig line starts off average, gets a little bit better. Then becomes phenomenal. Yeah, the blue flames work so well on Embor. Like wow, they are phenomenal. Oshawott line. I think Samurott actually goes down a little bit. Then we got Hisuian Samurott, which, if the benefit of doubt, is much better than Unovan Samurott, but not all too much. Really always like Patrat Shiny. Got plenty of them in Pokemon Go. There we go. Love Swatch Hog as well. Lillipop, not a big fan of. Hodia, don't like it. Stoutland, actually really like. You can go, <coughs> sorry. Nice and A, love the colours. Purloin, love the Pokemon, not a big fan of the shiny. Top C. Actually, I don't mind Lipard as much. I quite think it's okay. Let's see. I think the water ones have the best of the shinies, but I'm not saying they're good. Yeah, I don't know. I like the colours on the blue ones. The water type ones, I think. The Muna and Mashana line. Muna is there, like it's a greeny yellow aesthetic, and then Mashana, I think, is a phenomenally designed shiny, just like the other two Gen 5 so far. Love the colours, they are lovely. P Dove line. Now this might be a bit of a controversial one, but I've always loved um, Pheasant Shiny, both male and female. I've always been a uh, massive fan of the um, Pheasant Shinies. Love the colour changes and everything. But also I do have a bias towards the uh, um, Pheasant line, the p line in general, being a big fan of it. Blitzel, slight change, but it works okay now. Zeb Striker can go there as well. 
Roll and Roller I don't actually like all too much. It's shiny. But it does get significantly better with Baldor. We'll put in B. And Gigalith can go comfortably in S. Getting a good start on the S uh, tier Pokemon so far, which is always good to see. Love uh, Gigalith Shiny, phenomenally designed in my opinion. Woobat and Woobat's Evolution. Mm, don't no, don't really like Woobat. Um, might have been a bit too harsh on it. We'll put it nicely with its evolution. Actually, one tier underneath. Yeah, I like the orange mixing with the green on Swoobat. I think it works nicely enough. Drillbert and Excadrill. Yeah, that works very well enough, honestly, you know. Good colours in general, but don't know if they work well on Excadrill. Just an odd choice. There's a story to tell why Ordino is m one of my favourite shinies of all time. That will be in another video. But summary, it's my only full ever odds 1 in 8,000 shiny. Mega Ordino, can't tell the difference. Timber, don't like. Yeah, I like this entire line. Absolutely love the colour choices they've gone with it. Phenomenally designed. So pretty, so lovely to look at. Got one. I remember in the day of release on Pokemon Go. Made me very happy to see. Sork and Throw. My bias towards them stands still. I'll put that one at the top. I do like the purpley design to it. Suwaddle. Yes, I love its adorable colour changes. Looks so nice. And then the rest can go in A. Not as big fan of these two as Suwaddle, but they work well enough. After this list, it's just going to take even longer to do all the scrolling now, lol. Venipede. Not a big fan of its faded out aesthetic. Whirlipede. I like it. It's good. And Scolipede. Phenomenal. Very lovely. Very nice light blue of the red. Very good choice. High risk, high reward. Cottony and Whimsicott can go nicely in A. I love their colours. Whimsicott with the blue, brown and white. That's an odd colour colour combination I haven't seen and it works very nicely. Petalil. I love the Pokemon. Just the shiny is terrible. It's the only blue eyes change. It's just not good. Uh, Lilligant, lovely Pokemon, like the changes, good stuff. Hisuian Lilligant, oh no, what have I done here? I seem to have accidentally moved, let's see. That has form can go there. Now where did I put Hisuian Lilligant? We need to go on another rescue mission. There we go. Yep, you go nicely there. Wish these changes were more prevalent on the Basculin Pokemon. Wish they were a lot more prevalent. I love Basculin, but wish there were more changes.
the Sandar line. I like that they've changed, but I don't like the changes all too much. So we'll just put the entire line there. This one actually, don't like the random blue they've put there. And Crocorock, you can go on the tier above. Daimaka, let's see, you can go there. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Galarian Darumaka at all, so it's shiny wasn't going to do any better. Don't really know if this changes all too much from its original. Uh, you know, even Darmanitan. I'm a big fan of its shiny. Really, really am. Good. Just, I don't know. Probably biased towards I got one in Pokemon Go. So, guess that could be it, but I very much do like it. Maractus, the shiny I've always wanted but never got. One of my favourite Pokemon of all time will be easily in the top five. Lovely and adorable, great shiny. Don't I? I believe it becomes red, so I'll give it the benefit of doubt. It looks okay. Crystal with a toxic green, like a radioactive design. That's nice, that's good, that's very clean. Nah, no. That, uh, the green just came out of nowhere and I don't like it, not in the slightest. Sigilith. I like it, it's a nice shiny, good colours and makes green actually look good. Unlike a Scrafty. Yun Mask. Let's say... Yeah, I'd say most of the Yun Mask and Yun... Kofagrigus sort of ones will go here. Oh, Runarigus is technically Gen 8. With Kofagrigus... One thing I've noticed from this gen is that the final evos of a lot of Pokemon have got phenomenal Pokemon uh, shiny variations, which I am a very big fan of. I'm always more than welcome to have uh, more in the ST. Tortuga. I love its nice aquatic blue. Very lovely to look at. Not a big fan of this one. Barely tell how it changes the first time I've seen it shiny. I'm a good first impression. Arken. Top B. Not my favourite. I like the lime green, but just could have been better. And same as Caracosta. Actually, I can see how the shiny changes. Yeah, you can go in between those two. I think that works well enough. Just not the biggest fan of the changes, you know. Travish. I like Travish's shiny, just don't love it. I think colours are nice. Gigantamax. Yeah, I like Gigantamax shiny Garbo at all. It's it's good stuff in my opinion. <laughs> And Garbodor does actually look quite nice. I really have always liked Garbodor as a Pokemon. Zorua. Very lovely. Everyone I'm sure can agree upon that. Unovan Zorua. Very nice. Don't know about the yellow bead in the hair, but I like the colours. Very good. Hycelian Zorua. And, <coughs> sorry, Hycelian Zorua. I'll give top A. I like it. I love its purpley aesthetic, and I've got like three or four of them on my PLA um, playthrough, so I was happy with that.
uh, Mancino and Chinchino. I feel like at this point, the real fun of this list is just going to be how long will it take for me to scroll down the list. <laughs> Zip's already starting to take a while. We got the Eta line. Mm, this image of Gothita I actually quite like in its shiny uh, variant. Gotharita. But I will say for the Gothita line, a simple shiny could have been they just did a colour inversion. That would have been so much more simple and I'm sure it would have looked so much better than this navy blue aesthetic they've gone with. The Celosis line. Top D, not a big fan of Celosis or Duosion. But Re Reuniclus, that's a very nice shiny in my opinion. Very, very nice indeed. <laughs> Duck Alert, love the pink, love the purple. You can go comfortably in A. Let's see, Swana, you can go nicely with your pre Evo. Ally. You can go A as well. Not a big fan of these, so you can. I wish they just kept the pink aesthetic. That uh, vanilla I had, that would have worked so much better. I'm sure I've run into so many of these shinies in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, can barely tell. I love the shiny, like, not really. I like the simple change of the flower, but it should have been so much better. Like, more colours for the seasons that they represent would have been so much better. Sourcebucker actually put some effort into it. It isn't all too grey, but I think it's a lot better than dealing. Hey, Mog is okay. Not great, not terrible. Not a big fan of Carablast. Escavalier is average. Fungus and Amoongus. I like it. I like their, uh, what looks to be a Great Ball or a Master Ball. I'm slowly getting the tears mixed up. <laughs> Just imagine what we get up to when we're on the final list. So, the female Frillish, not a big fan. Female Jellison, very nice. Male Frillish, very nice, very good. Male Jellicent. Yeah. So the female Frillish just uh, isn't the best shiny in my opinion, but the upper three in the family I think work very nicely. Ala Mamala. Yeah, I think it's a good shiny overall. I like its simplicity. It's lovely. Joltuk and Galvantula. You can go for Joltuk. Galvantula. You can go there. I think Galvantula is just a tad bit better. Ferrothorn. I like its uh, decision. I like its blue thorns. And I've never liked this shiny. Wow. They should have just kept the blue and that would have called it a day. Clink. You can go there. Oh, no, you can go there. Okay, you can go in A. I do like it. <laughs> With the rest of your Evo.
Let's see, Tynamo can barely tell, such a small Pokemon, don't like it. Not a big fan. And we'll just get put BHM there because I don't like it. LGM can go... I like the purple eyes, don't know why. I like it, I really do. Litwick. Yeah, it's a phenomenal shiny. Absolutely phenomenal. Love Litwick, and there's a story to tell of how Litwick... Oh, technically Chandelure got me back into Pokemon after a very, very long hiatus. So you can go nicely up there with Maractus and Ordino. So Axie can go on A, Fracture can go on S, I actually really like the electric blue that it's got, very pretty, and Haxorus is simply an awesome shiny, so you can go nicely in S2. Then next up we have the Cub True line. You can go nicely in A with... No, bet it can go on B. But top B, I'll give it that. Yeah, I think just Cub True is better because it really pulls off that purple vibe they are going with. Cryogonal. I'll put it in B, I think it's average. Uh, I would have liked a bit more of a change. Shelmet, looking at this image, I actually really like it. Like, wow, it's a lovely shiny. The colour of whatever it is inside the actual shell. The yellowy, a little bit of pink at the back, I think works well enough. Forget this one's name. But it can go with Shelmet. Stunfisk. Yeah, you can go A with your Galarian counterpart. I joke, it can go on S. <laughs> I love Galarian Stumpfist. Go always having it. Took me ages to hunt a shiny one on Pokemon Go, and I'm so, so happy to say I got one. Mianfu. And B tier. I think it works well enough for B. And then we have Mian Xiao. You can go on A. I like this uh, pinkish colour that it's decided to go with. Dratagon. Top C. Mm, orange and green just don't really work well together, in my opinion. The Gold Lurk line. I think are phenomenal. I don't know, I just love this specific colour combination they've gone with and it is executed so amazingly. Pornyard and Bishop with King Gambit not being in this list because that is a Generation 9 Pokemon. Both of which can go in A. I like the blue, it's a good change, but it is very well executed. Bufalant, never seen it shiny, and I think it goes in D, not a big fan of it. Rufflet, never liked it. Don't know, like, I don't like the faded out brown aesthetic they've gone with. Braviary Noven. I'll give it A. I think it looks nice with the blue going through it. Braviary Hisuian. You can go there. I like, I like the simple changes to make it all black with the blue eyes. Vullaby. Should have got a Hisuian for. Oh, no. 
Mandaba should have got his Sully in form. But the Shinies themselves just aren't great. Heat more. A lot of people, I think, have the same opinion on this. Uh, better Shiny than it uh, has any right to have, in my opinion. The Pokemon itself is a little bit underwhelming, but phenomenal Shiny. Durant. Yeah, it can go and be. I think it's a pretty okay Shiny. Average enough. Mm, this one's disappointing. I don't like the choice of having green. Would have probably preferred a colour inversion, maybe. We'll give that High Dragon does look actually quite alright, so I'll put it in A. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And these two lovely Pokemon, Lavesta and Volcarona. You go nicely in S. I love these two oh so 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 very much. Beautiful shinies. Oh. The yellow is such a lovely and interesting choice that I just love it. Cobalion. Not the biggest fan of it. Hate it. Hate Terrakion's odd colour choices. Makes no sense to me. And Verizion, I'll give the benefit of doubt, I actually quite like it's pinky, I think it's more red on Pokemon Go. Don't like the shinies of any of the, um, the genies. Except for Landorus, which I will give the benefit of doubt, I do actually quite like it. Reshiram. On the base Pokemon tier list for Gen 5, I put it higher than Zekrom. But this time, oh wait no, I put Zekrom higher than Reshiram, but this time Reshiram can go higher than Zekrom. I just think the gold accents work just a little bit better than the electric blue tint on Zekrom. Still both A. Landorus. I've always loved this shiny. Always have loved the just the pure orangey near golden aesthetic. I love it. Absolutely phenomenal. In both forms it works wonderfully in. Curum. Always thought it had a phenomenal shiny. I like underrated Pokemon and Pokemon in general that just aren't liked all too much. Kieran White. Kieran Black. And there's a story as to why Kieran Black is going at the top of S tier. Or well, not top, because nothing beats Giratina. Near to top. But that will be for a story time video one day. Let's just say I think it has a phenomenal shiny. Executed very nicely. Keldeo is terrible. Don't like the green. Meluwata, uh, this form. And then you have the pirouette form. Or maybe I'm getting them mistaken. I think it has a lovely shiny. Nice greeny aesthetic. This form of Meluwata. And I realised I put... Yeah, Meloetta. They can both go on us. I do quite like the Meloetta Pokemon. And then lastly, we have Genesect. You can go nicely at the top of A. And you can go behind Reuniclus. And we'll just make sure we're done. Okay, days, we are done. So F tier, let's see what we've added. Starting at Herdia. Oh, we got a few and F, that's not good. With a legend and a mythical, not great. D. Not too many. Maybe just over one row, that's not too terrible. 
still more than I'd like. And there'd be some in throughout the list, I'm sure. C, 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 C. Starting at Tepic, mm, a bit more than I'd like there to be. B. Starting at Muna. Yeah, I'm starting to be okay with the B. Then A. We start at Snivy. Yeah, we got a good amount here. Very happy. And then S, I know for one, has a lot. Starting at Superior. We go all the way down to Meloetta. Good selection with a few select ones being Ordino, Maractus, Curum Black, and Chandelure in the top of S. Very happy with this choice. I'm very happy with my uh, shiny tier list so far. And next video we'll have Generation 6 starting from Chespin all the way down to Volcanion. So I hope you look forward to that. This has been Violet from High Cards. Have a lovely day. Bye now.